So let's check out the Spring Waves card for the ZDSP. Now if you're watching this video and you haven't seen the first video where we look at the Chorus card and we check out the ZDSP as a whole, I suggest checking that one out first. But moving on, the Spring Waves is waveguide synthesis for the ZDSP. It's physical behaviour modelling algorithms that delve deeper into more experimental digital sound design techniques known as waveguide synthesis. And you can also think of this as an advancement from Car Plus Strong synthesis as well. This is a point within Modular where mixing audio and CV can be really fluid and we're not going to damage anything but I'm using a CV signal as opposed to audio at my audio input. Turning that up, we can hear a simple shot trigger and we can see the input on the green line on the oscilloscope to the left. Now turning up the mix, this little CV pulse and it could be a little burst of noise, a drum sound, a droning wave, it can be anything. But for now, this little droning pulse is going to excite this algorithm and it's going to produce a tone. This first algorithm, the double waveguide, allows us two tune controls and a dampen control. And for me this is great for creating lots of unique little percussive hits that can be a more experimental IDM type track or can just be something a little bit different and unique within more conventional drum machine type sounds. Let's play around and check out some of the sounds. Let's move to the second algorithm. And this is a string bass waveguide, and this will be a familiar or car plus strong style sound. Just turn down the damp. And again, we get two tune controls. Again, let's plug in some CV. Go damp on in and tune one. Tuning responds with sort of a lag and a slew, giving this sort of loose feel that works great for sort of bendy percussion sounds. Let's move up again, and this is the bass waveguide. Go fully wet. We've got a pitch envelope, a damp and a tune control. Again, great as a custom percussion sound, simply from that sort of little clicky pulse going to the input. And you can hear the fourth algorithm gives us a set of minor chords. We can choose the chord type, dampen the modelled sound and control the tuning. Turn up the damp. Let's add some CV to card type. And damp. It's a really easy way to create these nice minor chord textures that work and open and swell as the damp's being modulated and the little minor chord sort of flutters in and out of different inversions and minor chords. Let's remove the CV and move on again. This is a waveguide mesh, turn in fully wet. We've got a spread for multiple voices. Again, a damp control and a tune. Some nice dissonance or low percussive sounds. Let's 
modulate spread and damp. great sort of tube like percussive sounds and these sort of ringing chord like dissonances with a spread control. We've got a different waveguide sound on our rhythm 6. It's a little bit more string like. like changing the character of the string with a spread control. Now for the seventh algorithm, I've changed my input to be a saw wave. And although it's dropped off a little on the scope to make room for the output on top, you can see the top of this saw wave and you're gonna see the ZDSP output on the top. This is dry, so turning up my sound, there's the saw. And this is a model spring, and we're using that spring to filter the sound like a low pass. Turn this up wet. This responds really well to CV. So here's CV into force, which is like the filter cutoff. Tune this saw down a bit. Let's go to the last algorithm. Turn some wet. And again, this is like a filter, but it's modeling static and sort of friction on the sound. So although we get the filter in, we can actually add static. Let's try some let's try some voltage control. A really cool sound mangler. So going back to a pulse at my input, although slightly faster in terms of the triggering rhythm this time, I'm gonna voltage control the programs. So I fly through a lot of different percussive sounds. I'm gonna remove all CV first. I got fully wet. So that's the Spring Wave card, a great set of more complex digital synthesis algorithms that provides a lot of great tones that for me just work great for sort of unique percussion and unique little voices that work great in a mix.